Right, I am briefly going to run through how to stitch panoramas in the iPad version of Photo. So to begin with then, we want to create a new panorama merge. And to do that, we tap the plus icon up here and we have an option here called New Panorama. So we'll tap New Panorama. Then down here, we can choose to add images either from Cloud Storage or from the Photos app. So I'll tap the little camera icon, that's for Photos. And I've already created a category here called Panoramas, so I'll tap that. And we can select multiple files at once to add into our Panorama Merge. So at the top right here, we've got Select, so we can tap that. And that then means we can tap each image in turn until we've selected them all. Then we just simply tap OK. And there we go, it's added all of our images to the image destination box. So then we can just simply tap Stitch. And after a short moment, it will give us a preview of our stitched panorama. That's fine, so we can go ahead and tap OK. And that will then render the full resolution panorama. OK, now the majority of the time, the stitched result is quite seamless. However, we do occasionally get little stitching errors like this one here. So we can see here the sky from two of the images hasn't quite blended like it's supposed to. In this case then, all is not lost. We can employ this tool here, which is simply called the brush tool. And what we can do is tap once on various areas and we'll begin to expose the blending masks. So what we can do I'm just tapping through them here, is we can change how the areas of each individual image are weighted for stitching. So what I might do, for example, just tapping through these, is I'm just going to brush here, like so, and then I'll tap Render down here. So what I've done is I've changed the weighting between two of these images and told it to take this particular area from one image rather than the other. And as we can see, that's worked. We've no longer got that error in the stitching. OK, that's great. So I'm just going to double tap with two fingers, and that will fit to screen. And the other thing we're going to do before we're finished here is just get rid of all the alpha transparent areas around the edge here, where Photo doesn't have enough information to make up the entire image. So up on the Command menu here, I can simply tap Crop to Opaque, and that will get rid of the excess areas. Now, finally, to commit this panorama and go on to do further editing, I need to make sure I've got the View tool selected. Then I get Options down here, Apply and Discard. I can just simply tap Apply, and we've now committed that panorama. So we're in the usual photo persona where we can carry on and do further edits. So for example, I might just open up the Adjustment Studio, add a Brightness and Contrast Adjustment, and just boost the Brightness and Contrast slightly. But there we go, I can then go ahead and save this like I would a normal document, just by tapping the Home button, and as we can see, it saved the panorama. I'll just tap to go back into it at any point. So there we go. Just a quick rundown of how to stitch panoramas and also correct the odd stitching error that you might encounter. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out the other video tutorials.